So at first glance, this question looks like a translate word problem question. I say that because it's greater than four lines long, right? We can obviously see that it's a word problem. So the strategy just means I don't want to read the entire question from start to finish. Instead, I want to stop at the end of each sentence, make sure I understood what I read, and then also make sure I'm writing down any quantitative information as I read it. The other thing here that maybe not all translate word problems have is we have an equation that we start off with. So I make a habit of just writing that equation down. So I'll write it over here, t equals 5c plus 12f, because we're going to have to do something with that equation in order to solve this question. So let's start reading. So the question says a manufacturer ships units of a certain product to two locations. The equation above shows the total shipping cost T. Okay, so T is cost. I'll just make a little note there above T. In dollars for shipping C units to the closer location. Okay, so this has to do with units, right? Units, and I'll say closer or close. Uh, and shipping F units to the farther location. So this is also units but it's to the farther, the number of units going to the farther of the two locations. The next sentence says, if the total shipping cost was $47,000, okay, so that's telling me that T is equal to 47,000, and 3,000 units were shipped to the farther location, so that means that F is equal to 3,000, how many units were shipped to the closer location? So C is what we're actually trying to find. So I'm going to just use this information to substitute these variables out of the equation that I have written down here. So instead of T, I'm going to have 47,000. So I still have 5C. And instead of F, I'm going to have 3,000. All right, so let's simplify this equation. So I have 47,000 equals 5C plus 12 times 3,000. So 12 times 3 is 36. And therefore, 12 times 3,000 would be 36,000. Don't forget, we do not have use of a calculator for this section. This is the non-calculator section. So to simplify my equation here, I can combine like terms by subtracting 36,000 from both sides of the equation. 47,000 minus 36,000 is 11,000. So I have 11,000 equals 5C. I divide both sides by 5 here. Again, I don't have a calculator, so I'm going to say, well, how many times does 5 go into 11,000? 5 goes into 11 twice. That's 10, 1, bring down the 0. 5 goes into 10 twice, and it looks like I'm going to have two zeros there. So my solution here, C is equal to 2,200.